it's Sarah here. Welcome back to the channel. This video is 10 guinea pig life hacks and I'm pretty excited about this one. So I've owned guinea pigs for a long time and I've started doing things in a certain way that I didn't realise at the time but actually were making it more efficient and easier for me to look after my piggies. So I'm going to share these hacks with you today and some of them you might have heard before but I'm thinking most of them will be new to you and some of them are around saving money such as making things last, eliminating the need to buy new products and others are around making it easier for you to look after your piggies such as easier cleaning, storage and just time saving. And the first one is this little bottle of disinfectant. Now for years I was going and buying spray bottles of disinfectant from the pet shop, using them and then having to buy another one and they weren't cheap at about four or five pounds each. It was it wasn't until I discovered ringworm and the need to get rid of fungal spores that I found this stuff which is F10. It's safe for pets, it comes in a really concentrated little bottle and you can just mix it up yourself. And because it's so concentrated you can get a reusable spray bottle and then this will last you years. And this is one of the many things I have in my Amazon storefront so if you want to get some yourself then the link is in the description below. Number two is something that I've learned from using fleece and making my own cozy items. So if you have fleece yourself you'll know that after plenty of washes it starts to get old and bobbly and sort of rough and it's nowhere near how fluffy and nice and lovely it was when it was new. But there are things you can do to remedy this. So first of all when your fleece cozies are dry get yourself one of those little pet brushes, the ones with the kind of long um, and lots of little bristles and fluff up the fleece using that brush. You'll be surprised how well it works and it really does help to keep fleece looking newer for longer. The other thing you can do is that rather than putting your fleece items in the tumble dryer, when they come out of the washing machine, reshape them, so poke out all the corners and then leave them to air dry either on a radiator or out in the sunshine. This again just helps them to hold their shape for longer after more washes. Number three is something that you'll see a lot in my videos and it's to do with helping me manage the cage and make it easier for me to clean out. Especially if you have a large cage and you want to use fleece bedding, this works so well. So get yourself a plastic underbed storage box and cut entrances into it and make that their litter tray, their toileting area, put their natural bedding and their hay in there. You'll find that they naturally pee and poo more in there and you don't have to do so much changing of the fleece and cleaning other areas of the cage. And a great tip to encourage them to use this area even more is to drape some fleece over that corner of the cage. Just by adding a bit of darkness and shadow you encourage them to use that corner more for toileting. There's plenty more tips like that in my litter training video so if you want to check that out I will put it in the cards now for you. Next up is a storage solution. So if you have guinea pigs you're going to end up with a lot of stuff and some of the big wooden houses especially can be hard to store efficiently. They can be okay if you put lots of other things inside them but I found that the collapsible houses or houses that slot together in a sort of flat pack work so much better, they take up so much less space. This makes it so you can have more of a variety of houses and furniture for your piggies and you don't have to feel guilty about throwing old things away just because you don't have space for them. Number five is a useful tip if you don't have hay racks in your cage. Personally I don't don't like hay racks that much and they don't really work with the style of cage I've got. So if I'm going to be going away for a night and I'm not going to be there to top up the piggies hay and make sure they have fresh hay then what I'll do is I'll use toilet roll tubes, stuff them with hay and put them either in the litter tray or just scattered around the cage. That way when I'm away I can be safe in the knowledge that they have access to plenty of fresh hay even when I'm not there to top it up for them. Number six is a tip for looking after your washing machine without having to buy anything special for it. So for me I've used old pillowcases to put my fleece items in for years now and I'll usually do something like put a liner in one pillow 
pillowcase and then a couple of beds in the other or I'll just put pads and beds in two pillowcases and put them both in the machine. I've never had to buy a separate special wash bag for it so if you have old pillowcases knocking about then just use those. Number seven is about storage of vegetables and keeping them fresher for longer. So if you saw my recent diet videos then you'll see that the best way to feed vegetables is plenty of variety and maybe lesser amounts especially if you've got senior piggies or piggies with sensitive digestion. So if you do this you might run into the problem of your vegetables going out of date and you having to throw them away and waste them. You can get around this though by looking up ways of storing vegetables to keep them fresher for longer and there are lots of hacks and tips for this out there on the internet. Ones that I think will work are washing the lettuce and putting it in a plastic storage container in the fridge. Apparently keeps it fresh for a really long time. Also celery you can put it in water and keep it in or out of the fridge. Because it's got that constant water it stays crisp and doesn't go all floppy <laughs> like it does if you just leave it in its packet. One thing I know definitely works is great for herbs. I do it for coriander all the time and that's when I buy a big bunch of it from the supermarket. I take off the plastic bag without um, like ripping it and then I put the bunch of herbs in a mug of cold water. Put this in the fridge with the plastic bag sort of tucked back on top of it and it really does make the coriander last for a couple of weeks and usually it would just wilt within a couple of days so that really does help make it last so much longer. Number eight is another cleaning hack so if you use fleece and you find yourself having to wash your liner a lot as in more than once a week, then using waterproof fleece pads around the cage might be a way to help you out and make your liner last longer. I only ever change the liner every couple of weeks. I do change the pads obviously, but they are easier to manage, easier to wash and dry than the liner. And they're really effective because usually your piggies are just peeing in certain hot spots, like underneath the hides and in the corners of the cage, rather than just random everywhere. So if you don't have fleece pads then you can buy them from various cozy makers online or I do actually have a tutorial video on how to make your own using materials you can get from places like um, budget stores, Walmart in the US, Target, B&M, Primark, other places like that in the UK. So I will pop that video in the description below and up in the cards now if you want to check it out. Hack number nine you might have heard of but it is a really good way of picking picking up and handling stressed piggies or young piggies that aren't quite tame yet. So if you struggle to handle them and you're not sure how to pick them up in the cage without them running laps around you and basically you just scaring them more, then get yourself a snuggle sack or it could be a tea cozy or even a beanie hat. Something that you can encourage the piggy to run into and hide and then you just lift that whole thing out of the cage and go and snuggle and have lap time with them. This this also works well for piggies who have been unwell and you don't want to stress them out by handling them too much or piggies that have had an operation and you don't want to disturb the stitches. And finally we're at number 10 and this hack is to sort of ignore other hacks. <laughs> buy yourself a bottle brush for cleaning your bottles with. I know there's a well-known hack about putting dry rice in bottles, shaking it up, and it does get rid of the algae and the dirt in the bottle. But it's a bit of a faff, you have to go and get your rice out and make sure it doesn't spill everywhere when you're putting it into the bottle. I used to do that and in the end, especially over the summer months when algae can come in the bottles quite quickly, I just ended up getting a bottle brush. I keep it in the bathroom where I fill up the bottles and if they're looking a little bit dirty I whip it out and it takes seconds to clean the bottles rather than faffing about with rice so my advice is to not do the rice hack and just get a bottle brush they're really cheap okay guys so that's everything for this video I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you picked up some good tips and hacks along the way let me know in the comments below if you're going to be using them yourself I'd love to hear if you do and if you found this video useful be sure to give it a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already as always thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next one bye bye Thank you.